Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question number 1897. Redistribute characters to make all strings equal. Basically, we are given an array of some strings, and we need to return boolean which will say if it's possible to redistribute the characters in such a way so that all the strings will be equal or not. As you may see here, we need to return true because if you take this character A and move it to the last string before this like letter B, in this case all the strings will be equal in this array. Because here we have A, B, C, then after that we'll have A, B, C here as well, and because we moved this letter A to the beginning of the last string in our input array, we will get the A, B, C here as well. So all the strings are equal, it's possible to do that, we just return true. If it's not possible to do that, like in this case, there are just like two strings and, you know, the amount of characters is not even even, so it's like not possible at all, we just return false in this case, simply as that, guys. This problem is actually not that hard, however, I can see by amount of the accepted submissions that a lot of people are still struggling, but don't worry. Let me just quickly write the code now and I will go through it with you and explain you everything. Just stay with me, guys. Okay, okay, guys, so here's our code, right? And because we need to say if it's possible to redistribute the characters in such a way to make all the strings equal, doesn't actually mean that we need to redistribute them. We just need to check if it's possible or not. And it's very simple to do that. If you just create the integer array, which is called counter of size 26, because as well, one of our constraints says, the words will consist only of overcase English letters, and there are like only 26 letters in the English alphabet. So you can create the counter array of size 26 to just calculate how many times you see each particular letter among all the strings which you get in the input array. And if after that you just iterate through all of the words and all of the characters for all of these words, and you update your counter, you just say that like the counter at index of the current character minus letter A, and if you just do like this counter plus plus, you just keep track how many times you see all the characters. So if for example the current character will be equal to A, then like A minus A is equal to zero, so the counter at index zero, which uh, represents the letter A, would be would get like incremented. If for example the character would be equal to B, then like B minus A is equal to one, so the then the, like the character which represents the character B at index 1, will get incremented, and so on from A to Z. After that, you can just iterate through all the possible letters from A to Z, so like from 0 to 26, and like not including the 26, because, you know, in programming you start counting from index 0. But if you just iterate through all the possible letters, and if after that you just check if the current letter, if the counter for this current letter mod the amount of words in the input array, if it's not equal to 0, you just return false, because it means the following, imagine again this example. There are like three letters A in total, right? And there are three strings, so in this case like the counter at index 0, which stands for the letter A, which is equal to 3, if 3 divided by 3, by the amount of words in the input array, if it's equal to 0, it means that like you can redistribute these letters A among all the strings and all the strings will have like the same amount of letters A. In this case you don't return false, you just continue. But if for example we would have like 4 letters A somewhere in these 3 strings, but the amount of strings will be equal to 3, 4 divided by 3 is not equal to 0, and you cannot redistribute like 4 letters A among 3 strings, you just return false in this case. But if you iterate through all the possible letters after that, and you don't return false here, you just return true in the end, which means that okay, it's possible to redistribute all the characters in such a way to make all the strings to be equal and that's it basically okay let me run the code now code cool, works let me submit guys if i submit i get almost 100 percent that's brilliant thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a like and subscribe show your friends to see if they can solve this question or not and i will see you next video guys good luck